yo 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 hello guys welcome back to mad 21 subscriber league today we will be taking a look here at the one in three portland snowhawks and the one in two new england patriots now maybe it may not be the most competitive game but we're gonna get to see some new subscribers starting off with lane stapp He'll be making his channel debut here today. Blake West. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun watching this guy. 5'10, 240. Um, as far as wide receivers go, I'm not I don't believe they have any subscribers or Terrence. No, no, that's not a subscriber. I don't think they have any subscribers, but one guy on the defense that I can't wait to see, Vaughn Prakniak. This guy seems to have just taken or you know this role of you know bringing the team together I'm so excited to see this guy play I mean on the other side of the ball you know we gotta take a look at the struggling Ryan Hatcher can they get it done against this team both team both of these teams need a win they both are uh, you know are not looking too hot they've already dug themselves in a hole who is going to be able to turn it around and we're about to find out and also guys after this week is over, next episode, we will be looking at stats around the league, so be excited for that. I know I'm excited, so without further ado, let's let's get into this damn game. Alrighty, folks, so here we are. We're here in, it looks like in Portland, they got an awesome stadium. That's one thing I really do like about this team, and we're going to get to see who can make a name for themselves, as it looks like the Patriots will start with the ball on offense first right off the rip they're showing some promise o open and drive here penalty against the defense will help them and they're across the 50 just like that already we're gonna hop in and watch some football here Ryan Hatcher rookie debut kind of a, of a rough start he's looking to you know change that here as the season goes on, as you can take a look down there, the Buccaneers win over the Atlanta Falcons. Make sure you keep your eyes out down at that bottom ticker for your your team's game. It's Minnesota, 4-1. and one. They're really making a statement uh, this year so far. Ryan Hatcher on third and three. Five, almost. That's broken up by none other than Von Prakniak. I'm pretty dang sure. What a play. Um... On third and five, can they pin him back? No. It, it goes out at the 20. So it looks like Haskin Jr. is still the starter. Even though he's only he's thrown five touchdown passes, four interceptions, they, they're still starting him over our subscriber, Lane Stapp. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, we'll see if that continues. But really quickly, man, I want to take a look. Did, did Vaughn already prove himself? The, the biggest reason why I wanted to watch this game is to see what Vaughn is all about. Can he actually shut down? This is a rookie corner who, in my opinion so far, has played the best. Uh, you know, he's a smaller type of guy. A lot of people think he's too small for this position. Well, guess what? He says, no, I'm not. He's clearly outmatched as far as size goes here. And he says it doesn't matter. I can still break up these passes. What a play. So, very good start. Um, as my, let me close that. PlayStation decides to go into jet mode every time I I record here. So, all right, we're going to see what Portland can do. First and 10 incomplete pass. Wow. Three passes, three incomplete. Dwayne Hackens Jr. Why are they still starting him? I don't know. Um, we'll get to see now. Patriots. Oh, they stall out big time. Good stop by the defense. And we got. It looks like we're gonna have us a defensive game. Um, not surprised, honestly. You know, Portland looks like they might be doing something. Let me stop. This isn't gonna be really the most competitive game, though, in my opinion. Let's let's go ahead and hop in here. And where is Blake West? Again, they're, are, is Portland not starting him? They're five wide right now, so we'll have to wait. As it's Hackins Jr. here. Or Haskins, should I say. 
He dumps it down to the tight end right there. That's a first down pickup. And four out of eight for him. 41 yards. And, yeah, I don't see Blake West. Is he just a – I hope he's not injured. I hope that's not the case. Hackett steps back. Yeah, pressure. Throw it away. <laughs> no. <laughs> he gets slammed down by Jennings. It's like he just doesn't know what to do out there. Poor guy. They just need to go ahead and put Lane Stapps in, in my opinion. We'll see what he does here on second and 23. Dumps it down to his running back who gets brought down immediately. And they'll probably end up settling for a field goal here. Third and long, very long. Stepping back, he has time, dumps it down to a guy who is out of bounds. Five for ten on the day. And not looking too good for either team. I mean, I kind of expected this. You know, a, a not too entertaining game. Not every episode has to be, you know, balls to the wall entertaining. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to have some of these chiller games to let some of these other guys get their... Their, their time to shine, maybe. I am looking at watching the Carolina Panthers next. I want to see Seth Price. Um, and those guys out there as the Patriots drive down the field. We'll see what they can do here. Second and 13, run up. Will they get stopped on third and eight? No, it's a 21-yard pass. They're at the five-yard line. And we have to watch. We have to... The Patriots are ready to answer back after that field goal. Can they finish it, though? Five yards away. It can be very hard to score when you're this close. We'll see. It's nice tackle right there. Holcomb makes a second and goal here. Hatcher single back formation. Man in motion. Vaughn Prakniak is on that man. It's it's man to man. It goes to the other side and what what the what just happened? A touchdown, New England. Uh, that was the weirdest touchdown I may have ever seen in my life. Didn't know if it was a f incomplete, intercepted, fumbled. I, I did not know what just happened right there, folks. But let's take a look really quick. Again, this is Von Prakniak's, you know, channel debut, basically. He's he's one-on-one -on -one with Washington. He's got that down pack. Ryan Hatcher isn't even looking that way. He's looking for Harry. Harry's his favorite target. Fuller's on him. And then... Wait, did the ball ever cross the... Is that a cross? Oh, it crosses right there. Okay. That, that was just a weird play. It was like... You know, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm being dramatic. That was weird. Touchdown New England, though. In a weird fashion. So, 7-3. We'll see what Portland can do. Patriots defense helping them out, but... Their offense, Portland probably has one of the worst offenses in the league. There's Blake West for the first time today. Second and ten. Again, another handoff to Blake West. Third and five and sacked. On free Jennings. Gets to Dwayne Haskins Jr. And yeah, Portland definitely one, has one of the worst offenses in the league. Again, we're going to be, you know, next episode is going to be all stats. So... You know, you guys are going to get to see where your team ranks and stuff and your player stats, stuff like that. Those are always my favorite. I'm a big stats kind of guy anyways. Second and 10. Patriots. Yeah, Patriots will. I expect the Patriots to win this game. Um, but like I said, it. you're looking at two teams that are just not look, playing good football this year. Especially Portland on offense. They just can't seem to get anything going really. And it's mostly because they need a good quarterback. I would assume. And they're a new team to the league. So they got a lot of kinks to work out. But, um, yeah. We'll see what happens going forward. They do have a franchise cornerback, if you ask me, though, in, in Von Prakniak. I think he's going to be phenomenal for them. Third and five. Shotgun formation. Hatcher's going to keep it. He steps back, stays in the pocket, throws it to a wide-open receiver right there. 12 out of 17, 180 yards, and already a touchdown pass. And Ryan Hatcher has already improved on his, on his debut of this series. He's already looking better. He possibly had one of the worst. Nice reach out right there for the first down. 
Possibly had one of the worst, you know, channel debuts you can have. Uh, it was just horrible. So, he's trying to make up for that. Can they get in? It's a handoff. Up the middle, he gets stuffed. It looked like he had room to the right side. He stays with the play, goes up the middle, and it does not work. So, 7-3 to three here. And it looks like Patriots are going to go shotgun here. Man in motion. Vaughn is on him. We'll see. It's Maybe it's man-to-man -man defense. It's There's a flag on the play. But it is a touchdown if it holds up here. What is the play? Is it pass interference or holding? I'm not too sure. Roughing the passer. Touchdown, New England. Sean Dion Hamilton got in on the quarterback on, on Ryan Hatcher. Let's take another look at that. What happened here, actually? Not too sure. Uh, let me take a look at the instant replay. So here it is. It is man-to-man -man defense, it seems. Guy wide open. He throws the ball. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's definitely pass interference, dude. It's like halfway there. By the time you're grabbing on to Hatcher and slinging him down. That is a good call by the refs. And Portland, man. They just look like a dumpster fire, man. Big time. 14-3. to Probably going into halftime. We'll see if Portland can answer quickly. They're trying to do something here. Second and 10. Nine-yard reception. Third and one. Four-yard reception. Will they have time? No timeouts. Pass dropped away. I don't think they're that. Yeah, going into halftime, 14 to three. Portland puts up three points in one half, and they do get the ball at halftime at least. We'll see what they do. 24-yard reception. There we go. Now they're starting to move down the field. Second and six, and chance here to try and get some points. It's third down. We're gonna watch the rest of this drive here, about halfway through the third quarter. You guys let me know how you're enjoying the series so much, or so far. Um, and there's Blake West for the first time. We don't, that's honestly, I like the call. You got a guy that's that big. It's it's third and two. But where was the offensive line at? As soon as he got the ball, he just gets met. I mean, I don't know. That's just, yikes. I figured we wouldn't be seeing too many big plays here. And then the field goal gets blocked. Even Portland's special teams is hot garbage. I feel so bad for, you know, it, this is a big rebuild stage for Portland. Um, so it's going to take patience for these players. And fourth and one, they punt it away. They believe in their defense. The Patriots don't really feel like they have much to worry about on offense. And, uh... We'll see what happens here. Big penalty against the Portland defense. They had the Patriots backed up inside their own five. And they just let that big penalty cost them majorly. And now the Patriots are driving down the field. And are inside the red zone. And this has just been all Patriots. I mean, it's, it's to be expected when you have a new team that enters the league here. Um, we'll see Ryan Hatcher hands it off. It's up the middle and not going to get much here. As long as the Patriots play smart, um, they should be able to get away with this win. You know, no doubt about it. We'll see here, shotgun formation. Hand off once again. Doesn't like the lane, doesn't really find it. They do shut him down. And you got to give Portland some props on defense. You know, they haven't let this game get too out of hand. But they're also not playing... That great of a team. Ryan Hatcher steps back. Play action. He's got all the time in the world, but now it breaks away. He throws it as he gets hit. And there's literally nothing but Portland players all in the back of the end zone. He had so much time. Nobody could get open. And that's Chase Young getting there. And finally stopping that play. So that'll make it 17-3 to here going into the fourth quarter. Portland goes three and out and <laughs> give the ball right back to the Patriots oh this is just guys I can't, we can't do this anymore oh 
Portland, they stopped them to a field goal once again. I feel so bad for Von Prakniak, man. Just no offense. And just, I feel bad for all the subscribers on Portland. All, every other subscriber, if you guys think you have it bad, even the ones out in Cleveland, just take a look at Portland. I think they got it the worst. And they'll go for it on fourth and eight, and he throws it away. Oh, no, this is just rough. You hate to see it. Second and seven, another run. Benny Snell Jr., six yard, third and one, and they get it with Leonard Fournette. And since it's the last drive, let's watch. I want to see a little more of Von Prakniak before we get out of here. It's 20 to three. He's at the bottom of the screen right there. We'll see if he can maybe make a play here, try and get a turnover. It's gonna take it's gonna take a miracle at this point. It's it's probably over. I've seen crazier things. That, no, I haven't actually. Uh, we'll see. We'll see though. Second and six. It's a handoff up the middle, and he gets brought down. Twenty-nine rushes. Did I read that correctly? Twenty-nine rushes. Jeez. Make that thirty, and he's up the middle, and there's Von Prakniak bringing him down. 30 rushes on the day for Snell Jr. you got to be kidding me. Jeez, I think that's the most carries I've ever seen in Madden. I've never seen him go that high before. 30 damn carries. And it's, you know, it's been a rough game for... It's been a rough season for Portland. But, <laughs> wow. This, that's crazy. Take a sip of my coffee here. Shotgun formation. Looks like the Patriots are going to try and put some more points on the board, possibly. And they're going to keep feeding the ball to their running back. It's like, dude, let this man go sit down for the rest of the game. He's carried it 32 damn times. That's insane. They finally take him out of the game. First and goal, though. They're going to run one more time up the middle. Have some pride. Oh, my goodness. Portland. <laughs> This was, I don't know what to say, guys. This felt like a, a game where you just watched a NFL team go up against a college team. <laughs> you know? Uh, it just did not work for Portland here. Uh, Von Prakniak, man. Honestly, dude, you did good. You shut your guys down. You got a couple tackles out there. Unfortunately, you know, both of these teams just, all my subscribers that are on both of these teams aren't on teams that are competitive. Maybe the Patriots can salvage their season somehow. Ryan Hatcher played very well today. But, dude, Portland, it's going to be a while. These guys are not not good at all. Dude, Benny Snow Jr., are you kidding me? 32. Blake West only got it handed to him five times. I mean, what a, what a, I don't know, even what to say, like, you know. Von Prakniak, four tackles. I mean, he shut his guys down. No one was really, every time we were out there on the field, he wasn't getting beat. He played phenomenal. This is, I basically wanted to make this episode about Von Prakniak anyways. I, I knew it wasn't going to be a very competitive match. There wasn't going to be that many crazy plays. These two teams are bottom, bottom of the league teams. And, um, you know, we'll see. Maybe in the future they can turn it around. But, uh. That's going to be it. We're going to take a look really quick at the rest of the outcomes for week five. And then we'll be getting ready for our next episode. Patriots are two and two. So here we are, folks. Tampa Bay over Atlanta. We've seen that one. The Bengals over Jacksonville. Minnesota beats the Saints. A defensive game out in Philly with the Eagles over the Jets. And just one touchdown was scored. And it was scored in the third quarter. Wow, it took that long. Uh, for any any type of scoring. That's crazy. Uh, Chargers over Buffalo. Carolina gets a win. Finally. Maybe there is a reason to go watch them. They finally get a win over Detroit. KC beats Cleveland. Baltimore back on the win column now. Shutting down that Raiders offense. 21-3. The Green Bay Packers drop another game. 21 to 24. So is it panic mode for the Packers? 
is it panic mode Zach Keeser he's not playing a hundred a hundred percent like everyone thought he was and he gets outdone by Omar Omar in the rivalry showdown between these two um you know Zach Keeser would be getting shown more but he's just not performing man and that's what it's about he's just not the top talked about guys so far this series he hasn't played great and hopefully he can bounce back man he's you know, it's too early to say if he's a bust or not, but he definitely hasn't shown up so far this year. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that. But he does dr drop his first ever game against the subscriber subscriber battle Omar Omar versus Zach Keister. It goes to Omar. Uh, we watched that game. The Rams back on the win column again, beating the Cardinals 31 17. Denver. Gets demolished and probably the, the biggest whooping so far, uh, or at least for this week, against the Tennessee Titans. Giants just fall short to Dallas, and then the Seattle Seahawks over Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh drops another game. That's unfortunate. And as far as standings, since this was a shorter episode in a way, uh, let's take a look at the standings. Chiefs are undefeated. Bengals are undefeated. Those are the only undefeated teams. And, I mean, you guys see it here. Um, Dolphins 2-2. Two and two. Patriots 2-2. Two and two. Is it panic mode for those Packers? I think so. I mean, to say it's not panic mode make, would make me worried. They're 1-4. They're same with, obviously, Portland. We already know that they're not going to do good. But there was so much. The Packers are one of the teams that have the most subscribers on them. They were set for the most su success before the series started. And they are one of the worst teams in the league. It is panic mode for Green Bay. I, I don't care what anybody says. It's panic mode. Jets. And then the worst team... Which is a big surprise. They haven't even won a game yet. Is the San Francisco 49ers. It seems like that success, or sh the lack of, should I say, just follows Jamie Bell wherever he goes. Poor guy. We're going to be diving into this stuff and finding out exactly what's going on around the league a little more in next episode. It's not going to be a, a Metro News Network episode. It's going to be strictly stats and stuff like that. So I'm not reviewing any comments i may i may throw those in uh, maybe a, a few it'll it'll depend but we're going to be focusing on stats and what's going on with the numbers so i hope you guys are excited for that because i know i am i can't wait to see who's winning who's doing really good and who's not so i'll see you guys there um love you guys thank you guys so much for the support i hope you did enjoy hope you guys have a blessed day and as always see you on the next one Peace.